Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm going to be showing you how to make a secret entrance with lecterns in this video. Basically, you're going to have to enter a specific combination to open the entrance. You're going to need two lecterns, 21 pieces of redstone, 16 redstone repeaters, two redstone torches, three redstone comparators, one observer, one hopper, three droppers, two sticky pistons, there we go, um, a book and a quill, and a building block of your choice. So once you have those, you're going to put these lecterns down like this. There we go. Uh, you can get rid of them now, we won't be using them anymore. Get your building block of your choice, and place it behind the lecterns like this. You might want to add one in the middle so it just looks flush. And okay, now you're going to put your comparators behind them. Basically, what this is going to do is every time you put a book down, it emits a redstone output. And the comparator harnesses that output through the block. We're going to be using that to make the combination. Okay, so if you put a book right here, that will make a redstone output. And you're going to put your observer right there, so it's used to that output. That way, if you take it off, it will change the output. Okay, you're gonna put your redstone dust here, your block here, and then you can move the one on the bottom if you want. Uh, put your redstone dust here, and now you're gonna be making a T flip flop. So you're gonna put your hot, your dropper on the bottom, there you go, and then put it sideways, and then you are going to put one facing down, and then put a hopper facing into the bottom dropper. And then you're going to put a comparator right there. So basically what this is going to do is um, every time a redstone signal goes through it, it'll activate the comparator and it'll keep it there. Now you're going to put an item into the drop, the top dropper, put redstone dust on top. And if you do this, see, it makes a pulse and it actually stays in the comparator. So if you're using like a button or a limited outpost like an observer, then it'll stay there. Okay, now you are going to put a repeater behind this so it can make the pulse go farther. Redstone dust here, and then you're just going to put almost all of your repeaters in a line like I'm doing. You can make it longer or shorter depending on how long your build is going to be. So basically, if your build is this long, then you're going to follow along like this. Now you're going to put your redstone dust here and extend it out. Okay, now we're going to get our redstone dust to hooked up to this comparator. And you're going to have it go down past the redstone repeaters. The reason we have the redstone repeaters is so that they don't connect and come into the same stream. You're going to put a redstone repeater there to increase the signal strength. And put your redstone dust to there, into those building blocks. Extend the redstone dust right there. And put two redstone torches on the top. Basically what this is going to do is activate that redstone dust there so the piston doors close and basically if you turn one off it'll stay on if you turn both of them off it'll go off and we're going to be using that for the combination so you're going to put a building block right there redstone on top and then you're going to get your sticky pistons which i don't have right now because for some reason i just don't know why i don't you're going to put your sticky pistons right here and here so that's going to be your hidden entrance. Obviously, you're going to hide them better than I do. But yeah, just put them right there. And you can put your building blocks there to hide it. Now we're just going to speed over here real quick. And I'll show you how the combination lock works. So you're going to get a book and quill. I don't have it right now. But basically, yeah, you're going to do that. Make sure the one on the right does not have a book on it. See, that's deactivating the redstone torch. Then if you put a book there, it deactivates both and opens the piston door. I'm going to go ahead and bulk this up a little bit so it'll look like it's actually in a room. Okay, using editing magic, I have bulked this area up. And see, we can't get out. Even though we're in creative, we're just going to have to pretend that we can't get out. So the only way to get out is you doing the combination. So if you break this... Nothing happens. Now if you leave it breaking, broken and break the other one too, 
nothing happens. It's still closed. You have to have the one that I'm pointing at have a book on it. If you put a book on the other one, it closes. It just has a little bit of delay because of the repeaters. You take it off. then it will open it'll just take a while because the repeaters like i said so you can have this go into any base that you want thanks for watching guys so as you can see it's not too compact uh let me know if you want me to make another one and if we get to let's say 10 likes i'll make a more compact one bye